Oh, okay, so these little gadgets here are all part of the world of micro needling. And recently we've gotten a lot of questions about can I do micro needling? Is it going to help my hair loss condition from our patients and from the general audience? And we're here to answer all those questions today. In today's episode of Hair Talks, we'll be talking about micro needling for hair loss. So, many people want to know what microneedling is and whether it really works for hair loss. And I think there's a big archive of journal articles out there that suggest that it works to a certain extent. And I do want to add the caveat that it may not be suitable for just anybody. There are many different kinds of microneedling systems and we'll go through all of them today. Uh, the first one we'll use is a very simple device called a dermal roller. And this one comes with 0.5 millimeter long pins and there are 560 titanium pins on this one and you can get them for ten dollars the role of the micro needle in this setting is to cause controlled injury to the surface of the skin and thereby resulting in a healing process that allows for the release of growth factors and that is supposed to induce the hair follicle to grow into a stronger less mineral to first of all disinfect your device. So you spray some rubbing alcohol, make sure it's clean before just applying it to wherever it might concern you. So let's say in this case, the hairline. And it shouldn't hurt. You should feel a bit of a little scratchy feeling. And the end point for this treatment, which you can do at home, and I recommend you do in front of a mirror, is a mild redness of the skin. Just a couple of passes will do. And whether or not you add any kind of serum application to it is completely optional. The next kind of system which tends to favor people with long hair would be a stamping device. So the example would be this guy here. Uh, this contains 0.25 millimeter long needles. And basically you aim it at where you're interested to treat. Oh, I forgot. Do remember to disinfect it every time. So this is a home use kit as well. And you just need to stamp it onto the area of concern. You feel a little bit of prickling and that doesn't tangle up your hair as much as um, a derma roller would do. So you can imagine folks with long hair in the crown running that wheel around, they're gonna have a lot of strands of hair tangled up in it. So this benefits those folks with longer hair. When you're done, give it a good rinse and store it after you've uh, disinfected it again. Again, whether you use any kind of serum or growth factor, composite or stem cell condition media is entirely up to you. So that's what you can do at home. In clinics, you have more sophisticated devices. An example here would be the Dermapen 4. And this device allows the practitioner to control the depth, unlike the other two devices where the depth of the needle was set. So we can turn it on and set the depth to what we want it to go to. So anything that's above one millimeter should only be done by a clinician. I would tend to advise patients who are keen to treat their hair loss to go to half a millimeter or 0.5 millimeters. And with the needle sterilized already, so that's a sterile needle, you don't have to sterilize it again. You have to dispose of it after you're done with its use. So it runs at a higher frequency and you're gonna hear that sound. And it's a fairly painless process. You just push it against the skin. Again, the end point of this treatment would be to see a light redness of the skin. So it's actually penetrating the skin a little bit and the same concept applies. It's gonna cause controlled damage to the surface of the skin, releasing growth factors to allow for the hair follicle to get stronger. Some people elect to use a little bit of healing serum onto their scalp before applying the dermapen and that's entirely possible as well. So in this scenario, I'm using stem cell conditioning media. Then I'll, I'll run the dermapen microneedling over it to allow for absorption of that conditioned media. We also have more sophisticated devices nowadays with sonic 
acoustic kind of effects that drive the needle to the surface of the skin causing the same control damage but it also exerts kind of like a shock wave to activate and to allow for better blood flow. An example of that would be Trigopet, fairly new on the market. There are a few ways you can do this. The first way is the patting way where you would want to wet your hair a little bit with let's say a growth factor medium. So you just put it on there and then just start the device. And it's a painless process. You don't really feel the needle penetrating your skin, but that shock wave is actually opening up blood vessels as you would do in other kind of shock wave treatment. And that little, little 0 0.25 uh, millimeter needle is going to just get that growth factor release going. In addition to this, we also have the option of adding another treatment which is called iontophoresis. So iontophoresis basically runs a, a light electric current across these probes and when they're in contact with the skin, it opens up micro channels or little little pores to allow for penetration of a growth factor medium. So I'm going to use the same one, just apply it to an area where I want to grow more hair and then apply this device on and that little light, the LED light in this will also help to activate the use of micro needling as well as acoustic blood vessel dilation as well as using low level laser light therapy and an increased absorption of the growth factors by using iontophoresis. There is some evidence that microneedling actually works to help to reverse hair loss. However, this evidence is not the strongest evidence in terms of medical literature. I would recommend that you do microneedling at home twice a week if you're using 0.5 millimeter pins or if you're doing it in a clinic setting, there would be a fixed protocol depending on which treatment variant that the clinic offers. As a disclaimer, Microneedling is not offered as a clinical service in Singapore because it is not approved by the Ministry of Health. However, there are many cosmeceutical type microneedling devices that you can consider or try out on your own with varying degrees of success. So do your research and consult with your hair restoration practitioner if microneedling is indeed the appropriate choice for your type of hair loss.